Hi, welcome to the channel. Thanks for clicking on this video. Today's video, we're going to do a quick look at a sleeping bag that's currently in store in Audi for $14.99. It's the Adventure Ridge um, sleeping bag. So I'm <laughs> currently up a mountain. I slept in it last night up here. Um, so I'm going to slip back in time to be in the tent and show you around it. Um, so I figured we would just now look at the sleeping bag and how big it is and then try and pack it away back into its stuff sack. So it is a decent sized sleeping bag. It's comfort rated under four degrees, which I'll talk about a bit because I'm not convinced it, it is as warm as that. Um, but I'm quite a cold sleeper. But you can see it's a nice big sleeping bag. Um, it's got a nice hooded area. It's got a, a baffle that you can cinch right in and stuff. So I think for 15 quid, you can't really complain, but we'll talk about the performance when we go back in time to me being in the tent with it. So things have gone to plan. My future self has just introduced this Aldi Adventure Ridge 1499 sleeping bag, which I'm now in. It is about 10 past 11. Pretty chilly outside, a bit of mist coming over. And uh, I was only wearing shorts and t-shirt and a really thin sort of wind top. So I was pretty cold. So now I've got into the tent, <laughs> the Audi tent and uh, in the sleeping bag. First impressions, yeah, it's nice and warm. Warmed up really quickly. It's definitely nice and thick. Um, it's certainly not a down sleeping bag. It's really heavy and sort of bulky. Um, doesn't feel particularly like lofted up or anything, but um, first impressions are, it feels nice and warm. It's a good size. Um, yeah, so it's not gonna get particularly cold tonight. But it's a sort of temperature, maybe 11, 10 degrees. We're at about 632 meters, 634 meters here. So, you know, it's it's reasonably chilly. So I'm hoping that because it's comfort rated down to four degrees, I should be able to sleep just in my t-shirt and shorts without any problems at all. I've got my Nordisk Moss down slippers on just because I've been wearing them from my other sleeping bags recently. So I thought it wouldn't be a fair comparison if I didn't to wear them with this as well. So I'm going to try and get some sleep now and just see how I get on. So, let me sleep in back. It, it's okay. I wasn't bored in the hot in it, but I think it's probably okay. <laughs> at mild temperatures. I'm not sure I'd trust a four degrees comfort rating. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is quite a breezy tent. So it's probably a little bit of a, a wind chill factor last night as well. So the uh, Adventure Ridge sleeping bag has done okay. Not quite as warm as I think the temperature rating suggests. Comfort rating is four degrees. I don't think it'd be that comfortable at four degrees, but um, I think if you're wearing some under, under layers, I think you'd probably be okay at four degrees. But again, comfort ratings are obviously varied and your own personal comfort rating is different to everyone else's. So the sleeping bag might be absolutely fine for one person. For me, I think I do sleep slightly cold these days as I'm getting older. So I think if it's a comfort rating of four, I'll probably be okay at maybe eight to 10 degrees. Um, but obviously your experience may, may vary. But in terms of uh, value for money, it's, and it's 15 quid, it's 14.99. Um, I had a perfectly good sleep in it last night, slept really well this morning, despite the really heavy wind. Um, and it was cold, it was misty. There's a lot of mesh in this tent. The air was flowing through all night. You can't close any of the mesh off. And uh, I was still warm just in my shorts and to this really thin um, little wind top and a very thin rab, rab uh, t-shirt. So yeah, I think it might be a fraction warmer than the, uh, the OEX EV200, which is what I was hoping because that was my, my go-to sleeping bag on my budget camp because it only cost me 28 quid. But getting a warmer sleeping bag for around 25, 30 pounds has been really difficult. I have now got one, but it's a minus seven rated bag that's really, really heavy. So 
to avoid, you want to avoid taking that at all costs unless it's going to be really cold. So this is going to be another budget option that I can take out if I think it's going to be slightly colder than the, uh, than the EV200 is going to keep me warm to. So yeah, it's uh, enough space to lie in. It's tall enough for me, I'm 5'11", so it's absolutely fine for me. I think it's 2.1 meters long, I think, or something like that. So yeah, sleeping bag, 15 quid. I don't think you can go wrong. I don't think you can complain for the money, really. It is a little bulky, a little heavy, but again, it's 15 quid. So if you're going to sleep in slightly warmer um, conditions, and you want to save a load of weight, then obviously the OEX uh, EV200 is definitely a good option. £35 in most sales, but again, I found it for £28 in a sale, so look around, wait around, you might be getting it cheaper. So yeah, sleeping bag did okay. So in terms of practicality, it comes with a nice stuff sack. And we'll just see if we can actually get it back into that stuff sack. Because that's always a test of a sleeping bag. It's where you can get it back into the stuff sack that it comes with. So obviously it's 15 quid. It's completely synthetic, so it's not gonna pack down like a down sleeping bag. It's, uh, it doesn't feel like it's packing down much at all, to be honest. Yeah, this uh, <laughs> doesn't feel like physics is on my side here. I'm just squeezing all the last bits of air out of it. It's not done a brilliant job there at all, have we? Get the old drawstring out. Somewhere stuffed inside now with the rest of the sleeping bag. Well, it has <laughs> it has squeezed back in there. So obviously it's got compression straps as well to make it a bit more compact. But um, you're not going to buy this sleeping bag if you want something really compact because uh, that is not the nature of the beast. If you're paying fifteen pounds for a sleeping bag and you want to come for in a four degrees. So the weight is on here somewhere as well. It's got a fill weight of 900 grams, so it should have a decent bit of, uh, of warmth to it. But I'm, I say I'm a cold sleeper and last night it was very windy. I've got a lot of mesh in my tent and a lot of wind blowing through it. Um, the total weight of the, of the sleeping bag is one and a half kilo. So again, yeah, it's not lightweight. It's a pound, a pound per hundred grams as it's $14.99. Um, but again, I thought I would do a quick review of this sleeping bag because it is currently installed for 15 quid. And obviously, you know I like to do my budget counts less than 100 pounds. And I figured this might be a good option uh, as opposed to my OEX EV200 bag, which uh, I've often complained is a bit too cold for me um, doing, the, doing the summit camps. So I think this definitely kept me warmer than the, uh, than the OEX bag, but I wouldn't say um, I was as warm as I was perhaps hoping to be. Um, but I did just sleep in my shorts and this really thin board sort of, well, that's probably a cycling top I got off eBay really cheap. So I wasn't wearing any, any kind of particular thermal stuff. So I think if I had just put my thermal leggings on and that I would have been really, really warm. But um, I slept really well last night. So it, it certainly did its job. And for, for 15 quid, I don't think you can really go wrong. So you can, can press it down a smidgen with the straps, but the straps are, they can only do so much with the, the bulk of the bag. It doesn't really crush down much. And as you'll see, you can crush it down a little bit, but the straps aren't always strong enough to hold it in place. They just slide back a little bit. Um, so yeah, hopefully if you've seen this in Audi and you've been wondering whether to give it a go, this might have been a bit of use to you because yeah, <laughs> I 
I could have done that better, but you know, it's a synthetic bag. It's bulky, it's heavy. It's gonna take up a lot of space in your backpack. But if you are um, just getting into camping and stuff, I think for 15 pounds, it's a really solid buy. So if it's been useful to you, drop me a like and subscribe to the channel. I've got loads of reviews of value stuff coming up and loads of, uh, loads of value stuff already on the channel as well. So do dip into my playlist and do have a nose about. Audi tent behind me as well. So this is uh, perfect for the Audi tent. Matches the color brilliantly as well. So uh, anyway, I'll stop rounding on and I'll catch you in the next one.